I'm Candy Keen. I paint and dye cloth, do wearable art and wall pieces. Um, I mess with the phone royally um, with phone apps. So an iPhone artist, an early Instagram adopter. My great grandmother was a seamstress. My grandmother did alterations. My mother sewed all her clothes and I sewed most of mine and then I wanted my own cloth. And so I started painting my cloth. You know, just, I even paint fake fur. So I've done a bunch of movement costumes um, for um, dance companies. I did for Juventus for a while. I also have done the projections. Most of us had great grandmothers who were seamstresses back in before this last century. Grandmothers who did alterations and mothers who sewed most of our clothes. And we sewed most of our clothes throughout high school and college. And then we wanted something of our own. And that's when the art came. Because, you know, I mean, the Vogue patterns are nice and, but you want your own, you know, you want, and, and if you're an artist, you want something that expresses. And I found out, cause I was so dang pretty in the seventies and the eighties and people are always on top of me to get to me to be with them. That especially at openings, I found that if I made something that was so interesting, they stopped telling me about my blue eyes. And then they started asking me about my outfit because I painted streams and things and all of that. And that, that was good because I could actually have real talks instead of, you know, the pretty girl thing that you have to kind of like hide and avoid. You know, it's, especially that time because that was the time when the sexual revolution and they saw me and they want to revolutionize me with their ways i'm not that interested in natural dyes because they don't come in fluorescent pink or neon orange or um you know a, a girl's got to have her color you know This does not come in natural dye. This is unnatural. And I'm like Mikey. I'll try anything of the Life Cereal commercial. Mikey, he likes it. I'll try anything. I'm Mikey. I painted this in San Francisco. I left the window open and it got fogged. It was great. So this is, this is printed. Um, this is, I have a really nice piece that I did called Turbulence. Um, um, and this um, and this is printed on um, fabric to make a dance costume. And this is the part um, the start of the a polar fleece evening gown. So this is look at this. This is look how it falls. That used to be stiff nylon netting. Isn't that cool? I bought a bunch of these uh, sweaters from um, the Goodwill that were like these alpaca sweaters, and I I wanted I I wanted some of that ear purple and blues and dark blues and purples because I just wanted to be warm. I dyed them, used the chun chuk machine, and started making a coat. And it just needs the collar on it. Here's this. I I added put it on the dummy and then I added the bottom here and I sewed that together and now and I look at it for a while and then I go after it and that's doing a coat out of dead sweaters and in that you don't need a pattern you just you just need the patience to deal with the dead sweaters I like to participate with other people doing stuff I mean, men all my life are telling me, oh, you should go alone. You should go alone. Well, that is not fun. That is no fun. The fun is to be together and do things bigger than you ever know you could. That's the fun. That's why I'm an ACW member.